We have just finished defeating Mom for the first time. So now we're gonna kick back in here, turn some mods on. We got some external item description, so hopefully that'll help kind of clarify what's going on here. In case you aren't familiar with the items or don't remember what they all do, like what often happens to me. Um, but yeah, so let's check out what we got here. Um, this kind of sucks. I'm not huge on this item here. I don't know exactly what it even does. You like throw it at a guy and then you go and like pick it up and then he like is a friendly then I think is how it goes and then he starts attacking for you so it's like okay I guess but he also takes damage from hitting them it's like is it amazing probably not so let's turn this down just a smidge here I don't know why the sound effects are always so loud just for Isaac I feel like the bass volume is just insanely high. Okay, this room doesn't appear to have any enemies, however, got a whole bunch of fire homies trying to hurt you. That ain't fun. Okay, go here. See if they have anything good for us. We got a, a coin. I guess that's not terrible. Let's try to eat you. Alright, now take him out. <laughs> Go get him. Mr. Elite homie. I, don't know, I mean, maybe if we have like a really strong guy like that, maybe it'll be really good. We'll see. And then we'll just clear out these guys. Basically just doing nothing right now just clearing through rooms doing what we want also let me know so normally when i'm doing videos like super auto pets or something um i usually have different background music because it gets old in my opinion at least after a little while um so let me know if you prefer listening to the vanilla sound here or if you like the background music. This one I'm gonna try background music. The first one we went vanilla. So check them out and let me know if you even care or if not I'm, I'm thinking we'll just do background music like separate background music. That's a little more fun. You can theme it to whatever is going on at the time if there's like a big boss fight or something you can do some intense music or in this case just kind of chill doing whatever classic dungeon crawly kind of vibes we got a butter bean i'm assuming for destroying those poops or whatever but sure we'll take it oh interestingly enough here this guy can't hurt the boss unless he runs into him i guess but like the the sludge on the ground doesn't hurt him because he's flying Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. These are fantastic cards, by the way. Okay, so we'll use Justice. Get some of these homies. Um, Chariot will probably take to the next floor. We can double our keys. So now we're up at eight now. Get a few soul hearts. Thank you, thank you. And so the only way, this, this card here, Joker, the only way you can get a devil room on the first floor or an angel room, is if you have either the Joker card that we have here, or if you use the Sacrifice Room a bunch of times. Joker. So this is fantastic. Dark Matter is pretty solid. You can see here on the left side, plus one damage. We can fear them potentially. I mean, really, just the damage is huge early on. And a couple coins. Thank you, thank you. And now I think we just take the Chariot card to the next floor and we keep cooking. See what we can find here. All right, you can't. <laughs> Whoops. For some reason, I thought we were going to be able to catch the boss or the mini boss, but that's not how that works. So I have to. We have to beat him the right way. We have to prove that we can beat him. There we go. What do you got for us, spiders? No, thank you. Spiders are gross. 
And then we'll clear out some of these homies, see if we get anything good. We did not. I'm curious what the, the odds are of getting something from those. And like fire and stuff. Like what are the chances? Misjudged my shot there. Fire rate, tier size, and knockback. Not bad. Not a huge stat up, but any stat up is appreciated. We'll take it. Grab one of you. <laughs> we'll get a little purple fly in our inventory. Go get him. Look at that. <laughs> is this not the best item you've ever seen? Don't answer that. Okay, clear you out. We're getting a lot of items here. I'm loving it. Okay, the beautiful part about getting the dark matter level up from the devil is we get to one-shot all these flies. Normally, you'd have to hit them twice right now, and that is just not fun. On a huge room like this, you don't want to be hitting them multiple times. Okay, summon you, and then let's, let's take on the boss. We can get a devil room cooking up here, potentially. Assuming we don't get absolutely smonked here. <laughs> Because yeah, if, even if we get hit, he'd have to hit us through both of these soul hearts and then another time to decrease the boss chance. But yeah, if that happened, <laughs> we deserve to not get it. Okay, well these are both fantastic. Let's see. Damage, range, up, shot speed down. Honestly, I, I'm not super enthusiastic with this guy. This one's really good, but the re- let me- let me break something down here. If you get a two heart devil deal like this, normally if you don't have- if you only have one heart, it's like one and then three soul hearts, and we don't have enough for that. But, if we go here, and then we die with the pact, the two black hearts will still go at the end, and then we won't die. So it's kind of like, you know, you get a little- a little extra for your money. So for that reason, I'll take them both, just because it's... It feels better to take them, whether it actually is or not. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that's not enough reason to justify it on its own. But we'll say it is. Ooh, we found a crawl space. Interesting. Go here. This is the first crawl space we've seen here. Health up is huge. Start me here. That was a very good chest. So crawl space, if there's a ladder, you know you can come back up. That's a little trick. A sci-fly? Dude. <laughs> we get sci-fly two runs in a row, that's insane. Fantastic. But yeah, so if there's no ladder in this little crawl space here, it'll just shoot you to the next floor. So you gotta be careful with that one. We'll definitely get a sack head, that's huge. And then let's break you, and let's keep donating. Ooh, deal with our little spider infestation here. I'm gonna try to make a conscious effort to jam the donation machine every run. So we can get it as quick as possible. I think that'll be very useful. Let me tell you, it takes a while. <laughs> it takes a good while to get those donation machines maxed out. And that's what we're going to have to do for some of our achievements. So might as well get going now. Alright, we're on Caves 1. We're getting a fantastic build going. Just some like psychic third eye homie over here. It's interesting because he has the third eye uncovered, but he has his other two eyes covered. So is it even the third eye anymore? Or is it just... Is he a Cyclops? You just have one eye? I don't know. How do we decide that? Proptosis is very interesting. So you have to be super close up to people. Sci-Fly might help us out with this a lot, because we can get closer without getting absolutely schmonked by people. Ooh, that was some ugly... That was some ugly pointing on my part. What do we got? Key bombs? So what I didn't mention when we picked up Sackhead is it's going to be very good 
for making sure we have plenty of keys, plenty of bombs to go around. Um, cause basically it can just replace certain room rewards like coins. Coins can just be replaced with sacks, which have different items and whatnot in it. So it was really solid. It's just a really solid item to get. Okay. Let's just dug in this corner here. Stand our ground. 300 looking. I don't see any reason to go into that room right now. Well, actually, no. I take that back. We have so many keys, we might as well check to see if we want to come back later, potentially. Which I would say, given this this shop, I probably not. I don't love any of those very much. But I'm glad we checked. Now we know that we don't have to come back. Here and then here. Let's do a little trial room here. We're so strong, we're gonna beat this thing very quickly. Here, get rid of you, get rid of you. Hey, Mr. Sci-Fly. <laughs> You're supposed to be helping out there. I'm not supposed to have to dodge anymore. Immune to creep and floor spikes. Sure. Look at that. We can just walk on spikes now. We'll go here. So this room we haven't seen either. If you bomb it and then bomb it again, you can go in here and it's a little full heal. Sometimes there's a trap door down here. There it is. I don't know if that's an every time thing, but semi-frequently I'd say. So we got Taurus. Um, you gain speed over time and then you get invincible. Honestly, I think it's a pretty bad item. I don't like the initial speed down of it. I think? No. Okay. I thought if we had full health it would give us soul hearts. But that might be for... Only for certain characters, maybe? Ooh, Jawbreaker's fantastic. Just give us some more damage here. Okay, take on these guys. Lovely, lovely. Get rid of you, get rid of you. Yeah, our damage is crazy high right now. Having seven and a half damage on floor, what are we on three maybe? That's really good. Go here, get rid of these homies. And this is just a beautiful, you know, you can just run at them. You don't have to be too concerned. Okay, this guy, another pretty chill boss. Hoping Sci-Fly covers me for all these projectiles. Okay, range, luck, soul heart, don't mind if I do. I've kind of stopped using this Pokeball. I think it's just more effort than it's worth a lot of times. I'm just not going to. <laughs> I will say, it's better than I originally gave it credit for, probably. Ooh, actually, hold on. We have the chariot. We don't need it for battle. Let's just do this. Well, hoping <laughs> to get a little more out of it than that, but we got the blood bank, portable IV. And now, if we ever have too much health, <laughs> we can just get rid of it. Isn't that great? What a useful ability to have. And then get rid of these guys. This one you gotta just kinda stand your ground, look out for them. Ooh, we got a dime out of that one? No, just kidding, that was a nickel. The dimes are all shiny. They're all metallic looking. Okay, get rid of these guys. The fear is very nice. Makes it so they don't swarm quite as much. And then yeah, look at this. Sci-Fly is just <laughs> going to town. Thank you there, Q. Another soul heart, thank you. It's 
wait for the little guy to charge before we go fight him. Want to get into any sparring matches with a pile of dung. Sounds like it's going to get messy. Okay, do we know where the secret room is going to be? No, maybe here. There it is. We have located the secret room. Another nickel, look at us. We're getting real lucky today. Okay, go here, get rid of these guys. Can't believe we haven't found the shop or the treasure room yet. They're all just hiding down here. I just walked straight into him. What the heck am I doing? Okay, what do we got here? Yes, thank you. I was hoping we'd get some bombs out of that. I'll pick it up for the transformation, but I don't want to keep it. Oh yeah, we haven't really talked about transformation. So whenever you see here, it says, oh crap, one out of three now. If you get three crap themed items, for lack of a better word, um, you transform into crap. <laughs> it's a lot better than it sounds. Um, it's actually something that you want to do. Let's reroll a little bit, see what we get. Our battery is normally really good, but do we have a good synergy? Well, we don't currently. Do we think we're going to? Tears down. I'm glad I spent three coins on that. Okay, so we just have to be a little careful now. I'll keep car battery for later, but we need to keep in mind if I use this IV bag, it's going to use it twice. So it's going to take a whole heart instead of half a heart. So just something to keep in the back of our minds here. But, I mean, just imagine some of the really good items, the good active items, and you'll see why we want to keep the car battery for later. I, uh, uh, side fly help. <laughs> so strong. We're just going to town. Okay. Go here. See, we could use it here. We'd lose half of our soul heart. What do we got here? Money is power in Little Horn. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'll use it and then we'll get Little Horn. Oh, it didn't actually do that one twice. Interesting. I wonder why. We don't have hardly any money, so I'm not gonna go with money is power. Alright, what do we got in here? A single chest for the room rush doesn't seem very good. This is notoriously one of the more difficult rooms to beat undamaged. Gotta be a little, little quick on your feet, you know? But it's nothing that can't be done. Okay, we got a supercharge item. If we can get a good active item in this floor, that would be huge. Absolutely huge. Okay, just keep cooking. I'm on. Okay. Actually did not mean to grab that right away, but it's fine. Since we have the soul hearts, it's not a not a real issue. It's not like we're gonna lose it. Ooh, we almost have the third conjoined. If you get three babies, you get the conjoined transformation. And you shoot three at a time. It is very good. One of my faves, I would say. Okay, roll here. Ooh, okay. That was a little dicey, but we're good. What do we got? This one counts for two transformations. Don't mind if I do. And I think it will just start donating some more. I think that'll be a good use of our money. There's options has appeared in the basement. I can't remember. I think that's the one that has multiple item reward options after you beat the the boss at the end of a floor. I think if, if that's the one I'm thinking of. Which is very good, by the way. There you go here. 
Try to get you out of this little hole you're hiding in. Feel like we're noodling over here for catfish. <laughs> Just climbing out into a hole. Stick your fingers in, see if they bite. Have any of y'all actually tried noodling before? Part of me wants to, and part of me is like, if I lose fingers, that would make this whole gig a little bit harder. <laughs> Uh, and I don't really like the prospect of losing fingers either, to be honest. Okay, go here. Let's go back and we can donate a little bit more before we leave. Disappointing that we haven't found a good active item yet. There were two not great hits. The first one was a little tough to dodge, the second one we should have dodged. Let's break open some of these. Ooh, thank you. Blood donation machine. We already have a portable one. Why would I need a blood donation? Why would I need a non-portable one? Though that one can give you better stuff, admittedly. Okay, go here. Honk you out real quick. This guy should be easy enough. Hematemesis. Well, if I had any heart containers at all, that would be very good with our blood donation machine. But we don't. Let's just go back up like we were saying. Nuke this, uh, this donation machine some more. Still not jamming. That's impressive. We've put a lot of money into that thing already. Okay, just do this, and then we're just gonna run all the way back. Sometimes this is the more tedious of events when you're trying to go across the whole map. And there we go. The pony will give us flight, which might be good. Might not be too bad. I don't want anything to do with these guys. I don't want a monster manual. We can go up here and grab this key. That's something. Um, since we have temperance, I think we'll leave the IV bag here. We don't need IV bag and temperance, probably. And now we have a heart. Oh, neat. So these purple fires you can't actually kill unless you bomb them. So we're just going to let them be. They also shoot homing tears at you, which is not nice. Get some more money cooking up. Thank you, thank you. And one of the best parts about this pony one, hopefully we'll be able to show it off, but you can just like fly through the entire level all in one go. Very satisfying. Just the one hand. Perfect. Let's get rid of you. Let's get you guys knocked out here. It's actually very nice having flight in this room. Normally you'd have to try to pick wherever you kill the... Well, <laughs> wherever you kill the, the blow up guys. But now we can just fly over and grab everything anyways. Five bombs. Bombs explode in a cross shape pattern. It's whatever. Doesn't really matter to me that much, but... Not bad. The five bombs is nice. That was not intentional. Okay, go here, take you out. Ooh, we get keys out the wazoo. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Trying to... You gotta be very focused with this guy. Because those little pooplet things, they can just start flying every which way. They can charge you on a whim, and you gotta be ready to react. There's the secret room. Perfect. Might as well do this here. See what we get. Spiders? No thank you. I do not particularly like spiders. 
Okay, get rid of these guys. See the bigger pooplet guys, they actually like telegraph their their jump before they actually jump. Smaller ones don't really, they just kind of do whatever. They just do whatever they feel like doing. School bag has appeared in the basement. Cool. Alright, well Di Diplopia is very good. Maybe we try it out here. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Now we can Diplopia and do a little bit of this. I don't think we've found enough hearts in this in this floor to justify using Temperance yet. Let's just not. And now the Lucky Rock has appeared, whatever that means. Oh, I should not have walked there. So I think now we're going to be able to fight past this boss here. We'll go go to the womb. Oops. Need to focus up a little bit. Okay. Yeah, okay. So now, Mr. Dolly, love to see it. Desperately need those hearts back. I'm glad we found them. So now we're just going to go through the stage two, I guess you could say. So that was like stage one that we beat in the first round. Beat up, lovely. Now we go stage two. It's kind of a gnarly rush room we got here. These are like mini bosses. You unlock the cellar? All right, cool. <laughs> I'm not sure what that does, but thank you. I think the cellar is just a different floor type. I don't know if there's actually different like enemies and stuff. I don't know. We'll see. Oh yes. Also, um, now that we're in the womb, it's a bit harder. So you actually take a full heart of damage every time you get hit. You gotta be a little careful here. It's gonna make temperance significantly harder to to use here. I'll show you some, a nice little trick we can use for it. We go here. Um, let's use it now, I think. So we can use Temperance. We take one full heart of damage, right? Now we have half a heart. We are only taking half a heart. What? <laughs> Wait, that was supposed to work. Does it not work like that anymore? Maybe they changed it? I don't know. Normally it should have just taken half a heart, but it didn't. Sad. <laughs> I could have sworn it worked like that. I don't think they've gone around changing stuff either. It's not like I haven't played in a while and they made it different. Okay. One of the hardest parts about Womb, in my opinion, is these creep guys that just leave these trails. They blend in so well. So if I walk on them, I'm gonna take damage. But like when everyone's running around dropping creep everywhere, it can be kind of hard to actually tell what's happening. Just set you on our creep there. Um, I don't think this counts as fully charged. No, it does not. So we don't want that. Let's take out these homies. What do we got? I'd like some hearts if possible. Another mini boss rush. There we go. Future treasure rooms. That's another thing. In the womb, you don't get treasure rooms. So that trinket will not do anything for us. Okay. We got to be a little careful. We are... Not very low on it. Okay, now we're pretty low on hearts. <laughs> we gotta be very cautious here. One of the things that I don't like about Proptosis, it makes you have to sit really close to the enemy. So it puts you in a bit of a dangerous position when you're trying to not get hit. Okay, let's just do this, get our get our health back a little bit. 
Found a secret room. A bomb bagger. Don't mind if I do. What do you got for us? Nothing. Okay. Very rude. Maybe we'll come back once we get more bombs. TBD. Well, for now, let's keep moving. Try to find the boss if we can. There. More bombs. Maybe we can come back and feed him some more. We'll see. If we get enough extra bombs, I will. Otherwise, probably not. Okay. Ooh, soul heart is huge. I think we're gonna actually... I don't want to waste a heart just to open that chest there. Let's just say we don't do that. So this guy's a little weird. You can only hit his butt for some reason. It's his only weak spot. What the heck, Sci-Fly? What are you doing over there? You're supposed to be blocking everything. What is hitting me? I don't understand. What the crap? Alright, something good, please. Paul's PhD is not good. Sulfur is good, but I don't want to waste a heart on it. I'll tell you what, maybe we use Diplopia here. We can get the two for free. And then we don't have to worry about speed down. I think we can afford a speed down here. That way we don't have to worry about using all of our stuff all of our health to get those. Alright, well, we only have one bomb. No reason to go back. Let's keep pressing on. Just keep keeping on, you know what they say? What do we got? Use active item for free? Okay. Might as well test out the active item. See what we get. Oh, this was a different item. I should have read the description. <laughs> okay. I thought this was the one that had the brimstone beam, which it is, but it also ohms. So that part I was not anticipating. Because there's one where you just use the item and it just shoots a beam immediately. That's what I was picturing. Come on, move your eyes a little bit. I'm trying to get past you here. And I think we got the Leviathan transformation, it looks like. Which is very nice, that gives us flight. And then we'll deal with... You hate to see that. Okay, try to take him out nice and systematically, you know. you and then get you. We have a good amount of money, but we don't really have anything to spend them on anymore. That's the hard part. Once you get to womb, your progression of getting stronger decreases significantly. <laughs> you don't have shops, you don't have treasure rooms. You're kind of just hanging out. Hey, okay, we got to mom's heart. That's big. So this one... I guess we can use this. So mom's heart. I think we're I think this is the end here. Um the key is just clear out all of the enemies real quick and then stand to the left and just you know do your bullet hell dodging thing. Oh, we gotta watch. Love it. Okay. Um, I think we needed to turn on sound. I don't think the sound was playing there, but we got Eden. We got Lost Baby. That's huge. Um, so we got another little portrait thing here. We unlocked a couple homies. Um, where is it? We got Azazel, Lazarus, Eden, and 
can't remember what Lost Baby does, but awesome. Well, that's another one down. Another quick little round there. Um, I think if we beat five times, I believe, if we beat Mom's Heart, then we unlock, we start unlocking like everything. So we just got a few more of those to do, and then we'll keep cooking. I will catch you on the next one. Have a good one.